So next up uh, uh, for the final speaker of this session, we have Dr. Catherine Sanjayu, um, who I should say is also incidentally concurrently hosting the last day of her hashtag Black and Cardio event, uh, which from what I understand has been a very popular event this whole week. Um, so please, uh, Dr. Sanjayu, the floor is yours. Can you see my slide on the full yes. screen? Yes, we can. Perfect. Um, thank you so much. And I would like to thank the organizer for the opportunity to present my work today. Fortunately, I can present only one thing out of all the work I've been doing. So today I will talk about a mutating GYs of a computationally derived ascending outer diameter and progenitor risk prediction for thoracic aortic diseases. Aortic aneurysm is a formation of a sac or balloon in the segment of the outer. This can lead to aortic dissection when a tear occurs in the wall of the outer. There are three common locations for aortic aneurysm, in the ascending part of the outer, in the thorax, and in the abdomen. Aneurysm risk factors are not well understood. However, aging, high blood pressure, and atherosclerosis are the most recognized risk factor, particularly for abdominal aortic aneurysm. The mortality rate is over 90% within one or two days if left untreated, which unfortunately leads to emotional burden for family and friend due to a sudden loss of loved one. In addition to the disease burden, aneurysm are very unpredictable. Because of all these factors, it is really important to better understand the physiopathology of the disease and develop approach that can help for better prediction. We know that enlargement of the aorta will lead to aortic, can lead to aortic aneurysm and dissection. So the hypothesis that genetic architecture of aorta diameter may help predict the risk of aortic aneurysm. We also know that atherosclerosis and high blood pressure are risk factor for aortic aneurysm. So we wonder whether these factors are causally related to enlargement of the aorta. This being said, we aim to study the genetic architecture of outer diameter by conducting the GWAS, then develop a progenitor risk score to predict the risk of thoracic aortic aneurysm, and finally, use Mendelian randomization approach to study a causal relationship between aortic aneurysm risk factor and enlargement of the outer. I'll first present the GWAS of outer diameter which were uh, conducted using outer diameter extracted from cardiac MRI using machine learning. So the question we are trying to answer here is, what are the genetic determinants that, that can explain the difference in the diameter of outer between two individuals with the same sex, age, and body morphology? So to do so, our study population was based on the UK Bio Bank, in which we have over 33,000 unrelated individuals from multiple ancestry group with cardiac MRI and genetic information available. We derived the ascending outer diameter using a transversal image of the cardiac MRI for using a machine learning technique, more specifically computer vision and segmentation approach to first identify or locate the outer diameter on the image and then measure the diameter for each individual. This graph represents the distribution of outer diameter for all individuals stratified by ancestry group. As expected, men have, in average, a bigger outer than women. Using this information, I perform an association analysis on over 30 million genotype and imputed SNP using a linear regression with adjustment on age, sex, and the top 10 principal component, as well as body surface area within each ethnic group, followed by a meta-analysis combining all ethnic group. I've also performed genetic correlation with other threat and tissue enrichment analysis to identify tissue with significant enrichment of our GY signal. This Manhattan plot represents the association between outer diameter and all SNP across the genome. We've identified 55 new genomic risk loci associated with outer diameter, among which the strongest association was found on chromosome 7 within the gen elastin. Elastin is 
as the, is the gene responsible for elastin formation to strengthen blood vessel and other tissue and organ. Mutation in ALN is known to cause Williams syndrome, a disease in which patients have a very narrow blood vessel due to loss of elastin formation. Most of our GY signal, of course, as expected, come from European population with a few from the African ancestral group, South Asian group, and a combined meta-analysis. Genetic correlation revealed a correlation, strong correlation with a number of anthropometry traits, more specifically body mass index, height, weight at birth, as expected. We, have also, we also found strong correlation with blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, and diastolic blood pressure. Finally, at the tissue enrichment level, what we found is a strong enrichment of our GY signal within smooth muscle tissue, as well as arterial smooth muscle, which include outer and arteries. All these findings consolidates our GY's result. I'm now going to talk about progenerative prediction for thoracic aortic aneurysm. I've developed a progenerative risk score using a classical proning and thresholding method. Um, and our PRS was trained and validated in an independent set of 8,000 individuals from the UK Biobank with Kaiser uh, MRI and genetic information available. The best PRS contained over 92,000 SNP and had with a correlation less than 0.8 and a p-value less than 0.05. This PRS was then used to test the association with thoracic aortic aneurysm in multiple cohort and ancestral group, including the multi ethnic cohort of the Million Veteran Program, Penn Biobank, and FinGen. This forest plot represents the association between the progenitor score of outer diameter and thoracic aortic aneurysm. What we see is that one standard deviation increase in the progenitor score of outer diameter was significantly associated with an increased risk of thoracic aortic aneurysm in all cohort and most, especially in European, Hispanic, and in African American. However, as expected, we saw a reduction in performance of a project risk prediction for African American, more specific in the median return program. So we'll now talk about Mendelian randomization to study a causal relationship between aneurysm risk factor and enlargement of the aorta. Mendelian randomization consists of studying the causal relationship between an exposure and an outcome using a genetic instrument known to be significantly associated with our exposure, but not associated with our outcome. Our exposure here were lipid measurement and blood pressure, and our outcome was the uh, diameter of the outer. To do this, I've used two sample Mendelian randomization with MR egg and inverse weighted variant implemented in air and test for air um, heterogeneity and horizontal pretrophy using MR preso. So what we see is that diastolic blood pressure and systolic blood pressure were, were causally associated with enlargement of the outer or outer diameter, but lipid measurement were not causally associated with outer diameter. To summarize, we found 55 new loci associated with the, the ascending outer diameter. We've shown that progenitor risk, risk score of outer diameter can predict the risk of thoracic optic aneurysm. And in, in terms of clinical translation, this information can be helpful to identify patients at high risk for regular screening and surveillance. We have also shown a causal evidence of aneurysm risk factor and dilation of thoracic out. So again, as I pointed out earlier, what we see is a reduction in performance of the progenic risk score, particularly in African American in African population as compared to European. These observations have been found in multiple other cohorts and other studies, including coronary artery disease, which is one of the projects I've been working on with Dr. Tima Simons. So my research interest is to develop new approach 
for improving progeny risk prediction for cardiovascular disease in African ancestry population. So I would like to take this opportunity to take my both of my mentor, Dr. James Press and Tima Simons for all the opportunity. Thank you and, Le and Elio for the machine learning work as well as all uh, my col our collaborators. And thank you all for your attention.